from the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. All right, just for reference, this is the U87, and this is the Dead Ringer. So, man-to-man, uh, -man, the hero that we need, asked the important question, how much did it cost to build the Dead Ringer? So, I, uh, I did an approximate cost breakdown, and it goes a little something like this. All right, Fuchs 87A boards. This is the only 87 DIY kit I know of that allows you to polarize the capsule at 60 volts, which is the same as the real U87 AI. And it also contributes to a considerable amount of that sound. And if that previous sentence doesn't make any sense to you, then you're not ready for this project. So currently, the only way to get the Fuchs boards is to track down this project in the black market at groupdiy.com. And all total with shipping, a set of Fuchs boards will run you about $35, give or take. And I'm going to put all the links to stuff in the description here on YouTube. All right, so since I'm swinging for the fences, I try to use high-quality components. And a full set from Mauser will run you about $75 once you factor in tax and shipping. And in general, you may want to buy a few spare parts because it kind of sucks when you lose or ruin the one capacitor you have and then have to initiate an entirely new order just to get a couple of parts and have to pay shipping again and wait another few days. So get a couple of spares of stuff. All right, next up, transformer and capsule from REN Audio, the UTM5087. It's about 60 bucks, 55 bucks shipped, I think. And the piece de resistance, REN's beautiful K87 capsule, mm, which will run you about 210 to 220 with tax shipped. And then lastly, the HL95 replica body can be found only on AliExpress. It's about 60 bucks and will take a couple of weeks to get to your door. Uh, think of it more as like 70 bucks with tax, give or take. So that all comes down to us at boards 35, components 75 to 100 bucks, transformer 55, capsule 210, body 70. So all shipped with tax around 450 bucks. And of course, you could build it with, uh, you know, cheaper components, cheaper capsule, et cetera, et cetera, and not get exactly what you want. But, you know, my intention was to try to get as close as sonically possible to the real U87. And considering that I did this um, before I had the U87, so I was doing it from memory, I feel like I did a pretty good job. So this is my build of what I'm calling the dead ringer. Um, your mileage may vary. And of course, of course... This, I would classify this as an uh, upper, inter, upper intermediate level project. Like you should really have a couple, at least a couple, a few microphone builds under your belt before you do this because there's no kit. Uh, there aren't really uh, a great set of instructions. There is, a, there is a very brief pamphlet that Michael Fuchs gives you that has some very helpful pictures and some guidelines, but nobody's going to hold your hand through this. And of course, uh, there's no help desk. I'm not the microphone help desk. There's no help desk if you run into trouble. So you kind of have to know what you're doing. Uh, read a schematic. Be able to use a multimeter. Um, know how to pick your parts, especially if you go onto Mauser and there's something that is uh, unavailable. So you have to find a replacement for it. So you have to, again, a little bit of experience will go a long way towards uh, success in this project. And because the last thing you want to do because again, there's no warranty or guarantee. The last thing you want to do is end up with a $450 microphone that doesn't work uh, because there's really nothing. You, at that point, it's just a paperweight. So, uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, if you endeavor to build uh, DIY microphones, uh, I, I, this, this is an obsession of mine, <laughs> obviously. So I, uh, I, fully, I fully embrace uh, everyone getting into it if it's something they want to get into. But understand that, uh, you know, there, there, there is a, there are a lot of growing pains in the process. So the dead ringer, about 450 bucks, not bad. So what do you think? All right. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Namkov, Fading to Black.